How's it going everyone? My name is Hafo and wow this feels weird. I haven't done a commentary slash tutorial in over a week now. And that was because I've had some technical difficulties, basically. Um so I had to replace a cable on my microphone. I didn't get a new microphone, but it's just a cable that I had to replace because it basically just screwed up on me. So sorry about that. And uh yeah, I'd just like to say before I start that, uh as it's the build up to Christmas, um you will see a lot more content from me because I have a special series planned for the build up to Christmas which uh, I'll keep as a bit of a surprise for now but I'm sure you'll enjoy it when it comes out and uh, yeah so uh, back to part 2 of this tutorial I know I'm a weekly but yeah it doesn't matter I'm sure you guys are, are fine <laughs> I'm sure you can live without the second part for a week or so so uh, yeah basically if you remember when we left off we had the car we had uh, the colour correction editor, we had our particles, it was looking all very nice. We had um, our explosion was all synced and everything. Ah, looks beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy. No, it was quite nice. Um, as long as so I remember. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, in this episode I said I was just going to do, adding some, like, focus onto this. Um, showing you guys how to do, basically, the focus effect on, like, so when it looks like you're zooming in like a camera, you're focusing it. And uh, this is used in a lot of videos that you will see. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, just a minute ago, before I started recording, all I did was I just keyframed my positioning, I mean my scale of my clip. So I went from that position there, the zoomed out, and then I zoomed, I went to about um, 0 0.8 of a second. And then I zoomed in and obviously keyframed that. Clicked the scale and zoomed into about 113%, and then I used my position and just dragged it over a bit. So as you can see, over that period of time, it zooms in and kind of moves a bit to the left, so it focuses on the left-hand side of the screen. And then as we go forward a few seconds, you will notice that it pans across the screen, so I just dragged it across on positioning, and then it continues to zoom back out to its original state. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a very simple focus effect to this bit, and I might see if there's any other effect I can add afterwards just to throw in for like a second bit of a tutorial. So we're going to search Gaussian Blur, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, and we're going to drag that on. I think you could use Fast Blur as well, to be honest, but I prefer Gaussian Blur. I don't know why, I'm just used to it. It doesn't actually make a difference. Um, okay, so we're going to keyframe. We can see we zoom in here. So we're going to go from the start of where we zoom in, we're going to go forward a couple of frames. Two or three, fine. Then we're going to keyframe our blurriness at 0%. Go forward about one frame. And I'm just going to come down here because it's easier. And then we're going to go to 5. We're going to set our thing to 5. So we've got one frame, which is 0. Then the next frame is 5. And as you will see, it's like nice and blurry now. And um, then we're going to go forward until past a couple of frames past our um, where we finish zooming in. And we're going to click the keyframe on 5 in the corner of the little diamond thing here and we're going to go forward about 4 or 5 frames um, about 4 is fine and then we're going to change it back to 0 so we get so this is what this looks like okay I might maybe a bit more than that just whatever looks good um, as you can see it zooms in and then you get your blur and then we come out and then the blur goes away and it looks very nice uh, right, okay, um, and we're going to do it for the zoom and out as well, so we're going to basically go forward a couple of frames in, set our blur to zero, go forward a frame, set the blur to five, very easy, and then go a couple of frames past our, where we zoom out, uh, set our blurriness, uh, oh, what have I done, what have I done? Have I done it right, please, have done yes, I have, yeah, that's fine, sorry, I was like, <laughs> I got confused there. My brain just messed up. Okay, so we set our keyframe at 5, and then go forward 3 or 4 frames, and go back to 0. Very, very simple indeed. And it looks good. I'll see if I can render it out. Now, there's no point, because I've only got quarter screen render at the moment, because my computer is very slow. I think I need a new one. Well, I don't. My computer's fine, but I moan. Um, okay, so what else can I add? I can add some DigiFX damage, because that's done now. And I'm going to add Artifact, I think that's the nice one. Yeah. Right. So, I have my own settings for this, which I don't actually, so that was a fail. And basically, I'm going to do my source blend, that's up to what you want to do. 
and I don't want that. I want operation type, you're going to scroll down to shifter. So that gives like the little block effect, I'll show you. Uh, artifact amount, I think I go to 15, uh, I believe. Just remember in the settings off the top of my head here, guys, I might be wrong. 15, 8, 15, 8, and I believe that looks alright. So if I scroll through it. Uh, where are they? Where? Oh, there we go. So you can see there's a few blocks on the screen. Um, what I like to do is I like to keyframe it at the start. All of these. And then go forward a bit. To about there. And keyframe it out. Um, go to set these at zero. Zero, 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 zero. So as you can see, what it does is it like as you, as you get further into the video, you get less of the blocks on the screen, and then when the explosion goes off, you can set more blocks again if you want. So you could go back, or you could just not do it as much. So ten, five, ten, oh, ten, five, and then just do the same again. Keyframe it to the end of the video. I think that looks pretty nice. That's just my personal preference. That's how I would do it. Um, and let me have a look. Let's preview the cinematic. See how this is looking. I think it's looking pretty good. Don't know if that's too, there's too much on the screen there, too many blocks. I'm not sure. I'll have a look properly once it renders. But as you can see, my computer is slow, especially for this sort of stuff. Taking your time, like right. Okay, well, let me see. Yeah, I think there's too much of them on the screen right there, so I'm going to take that down a bit. But it's it's. Com Entirely up to you. So ten five, ten five. I think looks good. Um, if there's too much on your screen. Then, as I said, just turn the settings down. Or if you like how many there are on the screen, but you want to kind of do it in a different sequence, and you can just change the uh, the random seed, and that will do the trick. Let me see how long have you been going for. So it's seven minutes in. I think that's fair. that's plenty. So as I say. If you would please like the video, it will help me out greatly, and I'm sure you will enjoy the new series coming up, which I may reveal more about next week, but uh, it's going to take quite a lot of preparation, but I'm sure there'll be some stuff that you'll enjoy in that, and there's going to be some giveaways and all sorts. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, and yes, if you'll leave a like and comment if you want to see more this of this sort of video where I'll just show you like how I would do a certain type of, say, cinematic or... Um, yeah, whatever. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, everyone.